Hello there, everyone. We are living quite strange times right now with this whole pandemic, which is affecting the way we are working and the way we are interacting. In this episode, I want to share with you some of my thoughts on how uh, Stockholm stock market has been affected by coronavirus and also how the job uh, demand and offer looks like. And as a bonus, I will share with you some of my experiences on how the recruitment process looks right now. If you're curious, check this out. The first thing and the most noticeable one is the change in the work practices. Here in Stockholm, most of the companies they have shifted or made a transition from working at the office to working from home. And the good part is that most of the companies they have provided all the technical equipment that uh, is needed in order to perform your job, such as displays, headphones, even chairs. I actually can say that the IT industry is one of the luckiest right now, since most of the work, you don't have to be uh, physically present at the office since you can work from pretty much anywhere. The second noticeable thing, I would say it's uh, a slowdown in the overall delivery process, since now it's a bit harder to plan ahead, to interact with the colleagues, and also to make the mundane tasks such as code reviews. You can do them via code sharing, but it's not the same feeling. And you cannot simply go and grab a colleague, have a nice cup of coffee, and discuss uh, some pretty awesome uh, technical topics. The second aspect that has to be discussed is the current market status. Here in Stockholm, the market is composed of uh, IT consultancy companies or outsourcing companies and second product companies. But what is good to mention is that here the IT consultancy companies, they are acting more like a broker. Pretty much what they are doing is uh, they are connecting an individual to a product company and uh, they are uh, taking a big chunk of your hourly rate. Unfortunately, right now for the consultancy companies, it's not going so good since most of the companies, they have uh, cancelled or uh, they have reduced the allocation of consultants from 100% to 20%. And uh, here big companies such as Volvo or Scania, they have laid off quite a lot of people. If you're a consultant and uh, your allocation has been reduced from 100% to 20%, then pretty much you will feel uh, quite a hit in your wallet. But there is not so much worries about this since most of the companies, they are working uh, in the whole Sweden with uh, uh, labor unions, which are quite strong over here. And uh, through these ones, the, co- the government is compensating your, uh, your loss in revenue. So even if you have been reduced from 100%, 20% allocation, you will not feel 80% uh, loss of revenue. Maybe you will feel like maybe 10 or 20%. When it comes to... The product companies, they are still hiring, but not as much as before. And uh, to give you some examples, companies such as Klarna, Spotify, or Ericsson, they are still having job postings on uh, on LinkedIn. When it comes to the hiring process, I just want to let you know that the process takes about six weeks. And right now, in demand are the people who have some sort of cloud experience. And here it can be with any cloud provider such as Azure, uh, AWS, or uh, Google. And when it comes to the front-end development, the market is mostly based on React. When it comes to mobile, right now, it's a lot of demand on Flutter and Kotlin. And on the back-end side, it's mostly Python, Go, and the .NET Core. And just to give you some insights on how the hiring process looks like, as I said, since it's pretty much six weeks, the process looks like this. You pretty much find a company that you like, you go go and apply. It might take a couple of days until they reply. Since now a lot of people are uh, are applying, and uh, then we have the first uh, the first meeting with the HR. Well, you we discuss what do you want, what the company wants to see if it's a good match, and uh, if this goes well, then you'll have the second interview, which is with a uh, hiring manager, and here basically we discuss the same thing but in uh, in a bit more details. Uh, if the hiring manager likes you, then you will go for the technical challenge. And here, I just want to point out the technical challenge time span, it's about two weeks. So basically, in these two weeks, you have to build an application which consists of uh, some sort of cloud work, CI CD pipelines, unit testing and integration testing, and they are very picky on these ones. Uh, also, have some, some small front end. Uh, and maybe some sort of uh, knowledge about microservice architecture because now it's in, in, in demand. 
and uh, after you finish your uh, your application then you submit then you wait like about one week and uh, then you will uh, you will have a technical uh, discussion based on your application and they will put also some extra questions around that and if everything goes well then you will have a new interview with the hiring manager again and then you will discuss about your uh, your current offer here unfortunately nowadays there is not so much room for negotiations since each change in the contract or each offer needs right now two or three layers of manager to to approve so pretty much if you're getting an offer i would say think twice about it and see if it's the best for you thank you for watching this and let me know if you had similar experiences or uh, any curiosities about stockholm stack market and if you like this video press the subscribe button and stay tuned for the next ones see you soon